Burmese activists line up in front of Eastgate Hotel, where the Burmese Prime Minister Thein Sein and Foreign Minister Nguyen Nguyen are staying. There is protesting in front of the hotel and by the United Nations. The Prime Minister of Burma, Thein Sein, comes to the UN to address the General Assembly. He is not welcomed by the Burmese people. <laughs> Security in front of the hotel is tight. Police surround the hotel, telling protesters to move the demonstration across the street. One of the military regime's guards takes pictures of the protesters with his Nikon camera. A protester who had his car taped with posters of the Lady of Burma, Aung San Suu Kyi, received three parking tickets for not moving his parked car off of the hotel's property. As people gather in front of the United Nations today, yelling out "Free Burma," Burma's Prime Minister General Thein Sein is addressing the United Nations General Assembly. Burma is one of the poorest countries in the world, with a lot of humanitarian rights abuses. The country has been under a military dictatorship since 1962. You guys are protecting the terrorists. Gomothi, a blogger, was a student during the 1988 protests in Burma. He fled his native country to seek asylum. Out of anger, he throws his shoes during the demonstration. They say Anyawen are not the true representatives of Burma. The true representatives are Aung San Suu Kyi and the protesters of 1988. The country is full of human rights violations, and we are here to strike. This is why my colleagues and I threw our shoes at Thein Sein and Nguyen Nguyen. The foreign minister Nguyen Nguyen comes out and causes a commotion. Protesters rile up and run over to Nguyen Nguyen's car. The protesters throw shoes and coffee. A Buddhist monk says he comes to the demonstration to give nyeta, which means goodwill, and to chant prayers to the regime. I came here to protest because I am not happy. In 2007, during the Safar Revolution, the military regime killed Buddhist monks for representing the people of Burma, who were too afraid to speak up for their rights. So. The Buddhist monks led a peaceful march for democracy, hoping to grant people the rights for freedom, and they were killed and imprisoned. There were hunger strikes and protests since the beginning of the week. People have gathered to show support for the people of Burma. The demonstrations have taken place from Philadelphia to New York to spread the message of freedom in Burma. <laughs> Prime Minister Thein Sein addressed the United Nations, but he did not speak of the people of Burma or how the citizens were doing in the aftermath of Cyclone Nargis in 2008. The Burmese people ultimately ask, "How can a government stand if it does not stand by the people?" Kaylin, Voice of America, New York, New York.